Well, here we have it. Uh, Excel lesson two, exercise two, cutting, copying, and pasting data. Let's queue it up and see what happens. I'm still going to try and combine some of these, uh, but cu cutting, copying, and pasting, I feel like is too long to mix with the first exercise. So start by saving the workbook. So file, save as, and we're supposed to call it my office expenses. Make sure that you go to Jasper Active, My Projects, and I'm just going to click in front here and type my for the space. So it reads My Office Expenses, just like the directions, and click Save. So step number two says enter data across columns. So we're going to copy and paste data. You guys watch this one kind of close. If it's what I remember, uh, it's going to be relatively easy, but you have to do some uh, holding of keys and clicking and dragging and moving stuff around. So here we go. Suppose another expense item needs to be added to the spreadsheet. To do this, you simply enter text. So click in cell A12 and type utilities. And then press the tab key and type 325. So I'm typing kind of slow and I'm going to gross you guys out. But uh, over Christmas break, I smashed my finger pretty good. So every time I go and try and hit uh, any of the keys on the left side of the keyboard, ouch, it hurts. So let me hit enter. And I did that wrong. It's supposed to be 325. Again. Okay, arrow over. And now it says enter the following new data. So C4. You're going to type February, hit the tab key, and in D4, type March, and hit Enter. There we go. So now we've done everything for step two. Let's move on. Step three, copy and paste data. So what we're going to do is click in cell B5. And in B5, we're going to drag the mouse down to B8. So B5 to B8. And then you can come up here and click copy or hit control C. I'm going to click on copy. Notice we get these little marching ants. If you see the green things marching around in the box, they look like ants. If you see the white things going around, they're like crawling maggots. Whatever you like, right? So now that we've copied it, it says uh, select cell C5. And come up here and click paste. And notice it put it right there. Next. Now it says Excel copied the data from the marked area. It's still got the scrolling marquee, the dancing ants, or crawling maggots, whatever you want to call it. Um, Excel is going to automatically replace anything. So now select D5. And whatever is here, as soon as I click paste, notice it's like... Uh, format painter, but we don't have to change anything. We don't have to use format painter. We can just keep pasting it because it's still selected over here. So we just copied those same things for the next two months. So once you've done that, press enter. And notice now it's all copied through and it's no longer selected as soon as I pressed enter. Now we're going to copy and paste data. So B9 to B12. So B9 to B12, select it, click copy, and then you're going to select, uh, let's see, C9 to D12. Now notice we're selecting the next two columns and click paste, and it copied it over exactly. Now select E9 and click paste, F9. Click paste. G9, click paste. It keeps going. As long as we keep copying it over, it's going to keep doing it. Then click undo one, two, three more times. And we're left with this. Now we're going to enter data. And C9 should actually be, I'm double clicking in C9. C9 should be 95. Enter C10, 150. Enter 
C11, 325, enter. And then C12, 350. And then I'm using the arrow keys to go up to D9. D9 is 175, enter. D10 is 160. D11 is 300. And D12 is also 300. And hit enter. Completed worksheet should look like that. Save the workbook. All right. Submit it and get it. 100%. See if we can squeeze this next one in, in there using Paste Special. Let's try it. This video is not that long yet. Here we go. It says, navigate to the document, Jasper Active, My Projects, and save it as My Paste Special. So file, save as, Jasper Active, click Jasper Active up here, select My Projects, and type My in front of the title. So it's My Paste Special. Notice we have column A is values, B is formulas, C is values. So what we're going to do is try, when we click on here, I just want you to, to notice real quick, values here, 10.1 formula is actually what Excel does. It says equals A2 times two. So you look at whatever value is in A2 and you multiply it times two. And C is values again, so it's just a typed number. So each of these is a typed number with different formatting or characters with different formatting. And here is a formula that modifies whatever is in the column next to it. And that's what Excel does, is it calculates numbers. It does the math for you. You just need to know how to do the formulas. So here we go. It says, um, let's select A2 to B6. So A2 to B6. So we got the values and formulas. And then we're going to click copy. Then it says select cell G3. And you're going to click paste. Right there. Click the arrow for paste. And in the drop-down menu, you're going to select Paste Specials. Notice there's all kinds of different things, and you even get a live preview of what it'll do. We're going to select Paste Special. And these are all the different ways we can paste what we just copied up here. So what they want you to do is they want you to select, in the Paste Special dialog box, select Values. So click right there and say Paste the Values, and say OK. And notice... Now that it pasted the values, it did not copy the formatting, it just pasted the values. So um, it says select cell B2, and notice up here in the formula bar, it shows us that we have this formula A2 times two. So if I click on this corresponding value over here, it just shows the value. There's no formula there. Uh, look at B2, B3, B2 is right here, formula equals A3 times 3, and then when we look at H3, it just says 40.4. So, they want you to notice that, if you're going to get your 100%, you got to do it. So, here we go. Next, it says, note that none of the cell formatting was pasted in the target cells. Select B2 to B6, if, so... B2 to B6, and then copy. And then click on cell H3, and you're going to select Paste. And boom. Notice it applied all of the same formulas now, even though we only clicked on H3. So 
we had selected all of this to copy it. So when we clicked here, it said, oh, you must want to do all the same things underneath. Excel is smart that way. All right. Uh, let's see. Left mouse icon paste. Uh -huh, uh -huh. With B2 to B6 still selected, select cell D2. So right here now, cell D2. And we're going to select paste. And notice it said, oh, you must want to apply these formulas to all the information in the column to the left. And so it did the same thing. All right. Uh, let's see. Next, transpose. Now select A2 to B6. A2 to B6. Copy. Select cell B9. You're going to do a paste drop down menu and I'm going to go to uh, well let's say paste special dialog box and we're going to select the one called transpose which is right here and transpose paste it all horizontally instead of vertically so at this point save it and close the workbook and submit it and get it this is a twofer, how did we do? 100%, all right. Let's stop sharing and I will see you guys on the next video.